Hey there, my name is Albert Thomas and in this video I'm going to be reviewing Avengers Infinity War. Let's begin. So we're going to start off with a non-spoilery version of what my thoughts were by the end of this film and how I felt throughout the entire thing overall. It's just after 10 years of watching these characters on screen, on television and stuff like that, like being able to see the culmination of all this work that Marvel has done as a studio in this amazing film, it was just, it was beautiful. This is probably, honestly, the most engaging Marvel film I've ever seen, if not one of the most engaging films I've ever seen, and that's just wow. I mean, from the moment you start this film to the very end, there are no slow points. You're always thinking what's going to happen next or it's just one thing after another. You don't have a single moment to check out because it's like the movie just keeps you engaged and that's amazing. The thing about this film is that the way the directors and the actors were able to just seamlessly bring in all of the different aspects of the various standalone and team movies and just meld them into a very coherent and easily digestible film at the end of the day it was just it was great it was just it was everything i'd hoped for and more to be honest um yeah i have very few issues with it and honestly it's a great time Whatever age you are, I mean, just watch the film. My final rating for this film is a 8.7 um, out of 10. That being said, um, I had very few issues with the film. Um, there was a few slight things that I wish uh, that they had done a little bit better, but I believe overall this is definitely one of the top Marvel films that they've done, and it just goes to show how well the studio has gotten in the last decade. Now before I get into spoilers, the one last thing I'll say is that this film, after watching it, the only thing you, I was able to think about was watching the next movie. I mean, Avengers 4 is something that's less than a year away at this point, and this film just set you up for it in a great way. After watching it, you will want to see that next movie right away. And that's just, that's no, nothing like, that's just not something I ever felt in any other movie going out of it. It's just, you want to see what happens next. And it's in a fashion that Marvel has never left you with before. So yeah. Uh, at this point, this is where I'm going to enter spoiler territory, so if you haven't seen the film yet, you should click off and definitely watch the film, and yeah, come back, I'll wait. So now let's get into spoiler territory. So the movie picks up, and you see the Asgardian ship, and you have Thanos and the Black Order just chilling, you know, they've already decimated half the Asgardians, and then the other half... Um, have just disappeared, so you're not really sure uh, what's completely going on because you don't find out that half of them are alive until later on in the film, but literally this scene just shows the badassery of Thanos. I mean, he already has the Power Stone and he just decimates everyone. Thor is just chilling, he's like all tied up, Loki comes out and tries to trick Thanos, but he's having none of that. And he gets his neck snapped. I mean, that was just insane. I was not expecting that in the slightest. So once that happened, you were like, oh, this is this is that kind of a film. Like, it, this took a huge dark turn at the, at, at the very beginning at least. And it just showed the sheer power that Thanos with just one Infinity Stone had. Um, the scene where he was fighting the Hulk and just completely wrecks him. Uh, let me know, in that scene, did he use the Power Stone or did he not? Because technically he should be as strong, uh, strong enough to defeat the Hulk just by himself. Um, but we don't actually know for the movies because uh, at least I didn't realize whether or not he was using the Power Stone or not. Now, 
apart from that, the Asgardian ship just blows up and just this beginning montage just shows how amazing this film is going to be and it's able to gravitate your attention in it right from the beginning. From there you go on to see Hulk back on Earth and the whole explanation to Tony Stark and everything else and you see a little battle, a little skirmish going on there uh, just to, I don't know, keep you engaged and also to review what's happened in the last decade pretty much to, to give you a better understanding of what's going on. Now what follows is Peter Parker and Iron Man and and Stephen Strange all going into space. Um, I will say the one issue that I've had for majority of the film was not getting enough of the Black Order. Like you never really learned their names or they were mentioned once or twice, uh, but not as a whole, not, not all of them. And I think that was kind of a missed opportunity because they are a badass group of individuals. But uh, yeah, to be honest, it, it worked for the film, it was understandable, but the film overall did keep your attention throughout. The battle on Titan, it's like, it was amazing. There were one or two things with like the CGI of the background along with Tony Stark's suit and the, uh, and the Iron Spider suit that kind of made it look unrealistic at, at, for a couple scenes. Uh, and it pulled me out of it uh, a few times, but overall it looked fantastic. The whole scene with the Guardians and then meeting the uh, the three Earth-based heroes was really cool. But I will say that everything that happened that was wrong, that kind of screwed things up in terms of for the heroes, was because of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, if they were not a part of this film at all, Thanos would not have won. Um, they wouldn't have had to give up the Time Stone. They would not have. Uh, they would not have lost the uh, the Mind Stone of Vision. Probably, um, they would have stopped Thanos on Titan. Like that would have been it, and the whole battle on Wakanda would have been stopped once the Avengers or once the three Avengers were able to portal in and return to Earth and re return to help everyone else defeat the Black Order right there. Um, which is why I think that because it, it kind of makes sense with the way they were using the Infinity Gauntlet. It wasn't like uh, completely an overpowered tool. So that because of that, they had to have something go wrong that would result in, that would result in the Avengers not winning. But I will say everything at the end of the day is because of Peter Quill. Uh, and that was kind of a sucky aspect of this film in regards to they kind of threw away the importance of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought that the film was well, well done. I really enjoyed it and it took some time to process everything that happened. I'm not gonna lie. It took me a couple days to be like, wait, this is exactly what happened. Okay, now, I, now I'm ready. I, I understand. Um, the final things that I will say are that I'm excited about the post credit scene uh, with Nick Fury and Maria Hill. Um, so we had both of them disappear or die um, and you saw that they were hinting at vis uh, not Vision, uh, hinting at uh, Hawkeye returning when they said uh, that they should probably call him and then Nick Fury ultimately also calls, um, also calls Captain Marvel in which we'll see in her own standalone movie, as well as Avengers 4. Now, the whole thing with everyone dying and... The, the whole thing there was... They killed off everyone that I wasn't expecting to die. Which, in a sense, was like, wow, I can't believe they did that. But at the end of the day, it's also like, oh, I guess they're not actually dead. Because you have Peter Parker, Spider-Man, who has his own two other movies that are coming out uh, in the next couple years. You have Black Panther th 2, uh, Doctor Strange that's also coming out, like the sequel, and you know that these characters are not personally, uh, like completely ultimately dead. So, but I, I think it's also interesting because they left pretty much the original roster of the Avengers from Avengers 1, so we'll see how that plays out in the future. 
So yeah, final thoughts. The movie was amazing. Um, if I can, I will probably re-see it, uh, re-watch it, and yeah. So let me know down in the comments what are your ideas, uh, what are your ideas for the future, what you think Avengers 4 will entail, as well as your thoughts on this film. Because honestly, it was just, it was a great time. Yeah, signing out. Bye!